I'm gonna show you how to make homemade gas checks and first thing you need is you need gloves because this aluminum flashing that I use will cut your hands even before you realize it so what we're using here is the aluminum flashing that I purchased from Home Depot So what you want to do is you want to make strips like this by adding on a paper cutter which I bought from thrift store and I did my math you need about 9 tenths of an inch if you want to be really economical if you take a look here this is a perfect way to save your aluminum strips but if you don't end up like this no big deal because it's pretty cheap this roll I paid about oh, I can't remember maybe eight dollars it was seven by ten so if you take your ruler and some kind of marker and do a little mark let's do like one inch and then just cut it then get a strip like this so I'm just gonna do one since I already have several this away Let me show you the dies that I made on this mini lathe. The first attempt was this. I made the edge sharp and it greatly reduces the cutting power. Uh, this was made from a um, 3 foot bar. The threaded rod that I purchased from the local Tacoma Screw hardware store. So what you do is you screw this in well, actually, let me show you the second version I made. Second version I made, I, I made two-part design where, where if, you, if I wanted to, I could just machine this part for a different caliber and there's a set screw there. And yes, and that's how I fixed this to this. So here I'm going to thread this into... Actually, let's thread this guy. Can do it both ways. So thread about here. I got a little plastic thingy from um, I can't remember where. This probably could be done with a better design where you can just make a little shoulder and put a. I've seen people use like a pill bottle, prescription bottle. That would be ideal. But since this was like afterthought, that's what I use and it works. The bottom part here, this is all I made from cast bullets for them, free uh, plants I found there by a nice guy who posted. So you want to put this at the bottom and put this goes like this and then you want to make sure when you my press this old lineman American that I bought from one of the local shops for a bargain of 60 bucks allows me to fix my shell holder so this is really nice because this doesn't slide if you had a normal like a Lee or other shell holder then you have potential of constantly um, wiggling of this part so how it works is you just put this in and you press and you got a little hole in there and one gas check goes in and then you slide over and you want to overlap a little bit and you can see this little bit of free floating which is fine and then you just kind of get going 
and right now the cutting is a lot easier so I'm just gonna push some of these gas checks out by using a piece of hot glue and you can see they're over here at the top and here they are nice beautiful gas checks and now we're gonna see if we can fit them on a bullet the one thing I end up showing is uh, when you're done you can just flip the strip around and just start punching from the other side so well because this one is not sharp as the other one it takes a little bit more effort but it's not too bad at all this design could be improved what some people have done is um, they flip these two parts around put a valve spring on it to push back and then you have like the female part at the top it doesn't move would be make a little bit more convenient because you could just kind of slide this and have the gas checks fall out the bottom which is eventually it's probably I might end up doing this so you have to kind of watch out that you don't cut the portion of it uh, off because if you do you got a little uh, missing chunk of from the gas check and you probably don't want that to have inconsistent gas checks okay in this series of gas checks let's see if they fit any Right now I'm gonna seed them and you guys will see that this is just I guess it's not it's, these RCBS bullets are dropping out around 313, 312 diameter and they require a lot of force to resize. So if you don't use any lube so you can see here I'm just gonna take this bullet without any lube and see if I can size it okay that wasn't too bad okay there you go look how beautiful that is got nice shiny um, bands and you have the gas check that's seated very nicely. You see some of that shiny stuff? Half edge of the gas check, the top portion. And you can see it's also shiny because this is where it clamped and pressed hard into lead. Now this gas check is not gonna come off. I'm using my nail. I'm probably gonna break my gloves before I take them off. Look at that. This is not coming off. So I like the loose design because with Hornady 222 gas checks that I have right here, when I try to see them on 22 caliber bullets, I have to press the shank into it hard and it scrapes the lead and lead kind of just rolls a little bit. It's not a biggie, but if you have to do that for every single bullet, your fingers get tired. So now let's seat the uh, the other one, the first batch that I made, and see what happens. Okay, this one requires quite a bit of force, and Lee warns you to use some kind of lubricant, well, like a Alox, because otherwise you might let the dye. The thing I found though is that with the gas check. It's 
it's it's a nearly perfect seating. Now let's do the same thing with this bullet. Um, put it on. Okay. This one is really easy because it tends to drop slightly undersized. But surprisingly, the bullet still shoots really, really accurately. Maybe my bore is a little bit tight. Anyway, as you can see, it's it's seated pretty amazing, and it won't come off. At this point, I can powder coat these guys along together with the gas check seated, perfectly made, homemade gas checks. You get about. Uh, I believe 28 of them, 14 times 2, 28 gas checks from this uh, 9 tenths of an inch wide strip that's I think 7 inches, yeah 7 inches wide so do your math 28 gas checks um, you know 7 inches by 10 feet roll I think I had Anyway, I did my math, and then in, in a perfect situation, it's about three gas checks per penny comes out. This is versus something like three, four cents you would pay for Hornady uh, gas checks. So this definitely saves you a lot of money. Plus, you don't have to be dependent, you know, if they have them in stock or not. Um, all right. Okay, so the way it is die works is you have this part which is a goes into shell holder and then you have a, a slit here which is the most difficult part I found to make but it needs to be really precise perpendicular flat and sharp edge no jagged so best thing to do is use a slitting saw or some other technology anyway this one is straightforward you just have a um, well it's not that straightforward okay let's take a look at the here on the screen so this is the part this is the slit it stops over here but in reality you want to go a little bit more just a little bit because the edge you don't want the edge being clipped you want the edge to have a little overlap Okay, here it shows to use a um, end mill. I used the boring bar to. Not sure how exactly I managed to do it, but I know I don't have an end mill, so if you have one, use that. Then I used a boring bar again to create a, a, this second shoulder. And here it's slanted, but I just have, I think, 90 degree and it works fine okay let's go back here um, you have the puncher part so this guy I created like a sort of like a NOE die body with a set screw this part you know comes off and you can make another one for a different caliber convenient never had to actually create a second um, caliber although I need to for 22 caliber and this guy right here the most important thing is to get the most concentric hole you can drill again I believe I used a little boring bar to get this you know first drill undersized then bore out uh, even if you had to bore out like you know this much the, 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 this right here is the most important this being concentric to the hole so your walls are being you know are equal sized when you punch into the, the cup it's being you know even and being formed around this this goes here like this and the uh, screw holds it together 
he'll get a lot of um, he'll get aluminum particles sometimes it'll start cutting messed up so you just have to clean it out periodically this is where flipping this design upside down will actually will help you um, in different ways where the particles won't be building up in here they'll be falling back so you're not gonna get you know build up of the particles instead of being like this um, a lot of crud gets built up in their aluminum shavings. Okay.